since um, we didn't have a, a segment last week, I wanted to catch you up on um, last week. The, the Wolverine came out. It's the number one movie at the box office. Another one of these Marvel superhero movies. It's the sixth time that uh, Hugh Jackman's played the Wolverine, and um, he's he's great as usual. But I wouldn't say it's the best movie, the X-Men movie. So it was hard for me to recommend it to everybody. Um, and then we also have Fruitvale Station, which is uh, very similar to the Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman story, and that's in limited release. Uh, the the to-do list is a coming-of-age movie, and The Way Way Back is uh, expanded. So some limited release offerings. The Wolverine was the big one last week. Um, it was good, not great. Um, there is uh, a scene at the end of the credits where it kind of teases ahead to the next X-Men movie where Hugh Jackman will be back again as Wolverine. I like this one better than the previous Wolverine movie, the standalone Wolverine movie, but still um, it's good kind of when they're all together as a team versus the one man. This is kind of a, think of it as like a Clint Eastwood spaghetti western kind of take on the role where he's a man, he's a fugitive, he's kind of out on his own trying to find himself. I'm waiting for him to break into song because I still picture him as Jean Valjean. <laughs> <And> Les Mis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly.